What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com and today we're going to play another exhibition game in NCAA Football 07. Now in the previous exhibition game, we were Ford Atlantic and we took on Michigan. That was our cupcake game. And I wasn't very pleased with the results in terms of the CPU offense is struggling for whatever reason. Actually, the previous three exhibition games with this new slider set, the offense just can't get it going. So we're going to do some tweaks. You're going to see all that today, and it should be a lot of fun. Hopefully, going forward, I'm going to stick with this cupcake game until I am somewhat satisfied with what I see. So it may be a while, but at least we will be the underdog, and we should see some pretty interesting matchups. Okay, so let's get right into it with the tweaks. We'll go to gameplay, and... I've turned off injuries just for the exhibition games because I'm going to be controlling some really bad teams that have just a handful of decent players. And if one of them goes down, that kind of messes up the entire uh, offense or defense or what have you. And it's going to be the same for the opposing team as well. I don't want injuries to skew my results, if that makes sense. But once I am satisfied with the sliders and I want to start a dynasty or whatever... Then I'm going to turn this back on for sure. But I just wanted to, you to make sure that I have this turned off and that you know the reason why. Okay, now let's go to a couple of changes that I've made in the sliders. The one change I made on the human side, on the offensive side of things, is QB accuracy. It was at 50, now I have it at 35. I've got the practice with some of this, lowering it down, and I'm seeing a lot more crazy passes in terms of like 15 yards above a player's head. Again, it just depends on the accuracy rating of that quarterback. So we'll adjust to that. I felt like in the previous games, I, I was using a couple quarterbacks that didn't have the best accuracy in the world in terms of the rating, but they was making a lot of pinpoint accuracy throws. So let's lower that from 50 to 35. That's the only change I made on the human side of things. On the CPU side of things is where I've adjusted at least a little bit. The only big change I've made was run blocking went from 0 to 20%. I felt like running the ball, I think uh, it was a Boston College. Who was we going up against? Uh, NC State. I thought NC State ran the ball halfway decent. Their quarterback or their running back done okay. But it was a 0 to 20%. It's not good enough. So we're going to raise it to 20 and see what happens with it. If it if Flor if the uh, we're playing Florida today, if Florida struggles running the ball today, then we're going to keep increasing this until it makes sense. Now I'm okay with six percent for both wide receiver catching and running back ability. I think it's the blocking that's been the biggest problem for them. Now pass blocking, I'm going to leave at zero only because in the previous game, Michigan done a really good job. We didn't sack them all that much. I think maybe twice, which is Pretty normal for a game. And in the previous games before that, we didn't sack them a whole lot. And we even had an even matchup versus a powerhouse when I was USC taking on Troy. I think we only sacked them maybe three times. So I'm actually okay with the pass blocking. Now, that is the only thing I've changed. Uh, QB accuracy, I'm actually okay with for now. Because in the previous video, Chad Henney from Michigan... Went 14 of 17, I think. I thought he played well once he got the ball off. So I'm okay with that at 30%. So the only change I did make was I increased run blocking. So we'll see what happens with all this today. Everything else, I've stayed the same. Uh, so again, just to sort of wrap it up, the biggest issue I've seen so far is CPU offense. Hopefully we can tweak that to make it more realistic and more tough, I guess. Okay, now let's get to the exhibition game. We are going to be Baylor. I picked Baylor for a couple of reasons. First of all, they're not very good. They're a C-plus team, and we are going to take on, like I said earlier, Florida. They're an A-plus team, so that's a two-full-letter grade difference. They should have a whole lot more talent than me. They should be able to beat me by at least a couple touchdowns. Now, I know I'm very good at these, at these games, but they should at least do their part. They also have the toughest stadium in the country, so that should be pretty interesting. Okay, let's go to select stadium. We can do a noon game. Uh, let's lower the wind a little bit. That way I don't want that to skew our results either. So I'm okay with that. Now, 
I've also decided for going forward, since I'm going to be a cupcake team for going forward, I'm going to run a 4-3 defense every single time. And the reason I want to do this is I don't want to switch up defenses and have that skew my results. You know, I, like, for example, Baylor runs a default 4-2-5 defense. Well, if Florida runs wild on me today and puts up 500 yards of offense, is that because I finally tweaked the the sliders to make it more realistic, or was it because I'm just not very good with the 4-2-5 in this game? I want to stick with the same defense so it doesn't skew the results. Hopefully that makes sense. So what I'm going to do is go with a 4-3. And now let's talk about which offense we're going to run. That's one thing I do like to do is switch up the offenses for every exhibition game. The one thing we haven't ran yet is the run and shoot playbook. So we're going to go to offensive playbook. We're going to go to Hawaii. Excellent playbook. A whole lot of fun. We'll break all that down once we get into the game. Now, when it comes to away uniforms, they've added a couple things, I think, for Baylor. Now, what I decided to do, I'm going to go with the all-white uniforms only because it'll be a good contrast to Florida's uh, different uniform combinations. Now, this is their default, but I want to see their all-blue. This has been their more common home uniform recently, so I like the looks of it. But you see here... They got an all-white, and they got this set up with the orange pants. Then they got their traditional, this is their old-school uniform here. Because if you go to their away, it's the all-orange. But back in the 90s, I remember seeing this a whole lot. But either way, we're going to go with this one for Florida. And I think we're set up. We are ready to go. So let's get this show on the road. Should be a lot of fun. Again, looking forward to showing you some of the run-and-shoot stuff on top of... Hopefully, the little tweaks I've made up to this point will help at least some. If not, we'll, quick, we'll keep tweaking. And that's been the biggest problem I've seen so far with 07. It just takes a lot of tweaking with the sliders to get to where I want it to be. And it may be another 10 more exhibition games before I feel comfortable and satisfied with the slider set. We'll get there, though. All right, let's watch the preview. Who's rocking the purple suit today? The heat may be a factor in today's game with the Baylor Bears and the Florida Gators. And we're set to bring you. I'd like to think the stadium the graphics look a little bit better in this one than doing 06. Not a whole lot, but I think it's a tad bit more crisp. Chris Lee. Should have been a Tennessee, but that didn't happen because of his brother. But that's a whole other story in and of itself. This could be a career game. You're absolutely right. Picking the Gators, that's expected. Okay. Let's get into it. Go to the coin toss. They won the toss, and they want the ball first, which is fine. Okay, let's look up some things here. Let's go to in-game strategy. Let's start off with our playbook. Let's go to set audibles. And starting off, their entire playbook is nothing but four wide sets. If that's what you like to do, this is a good place to start at least. They got a spread, four wide receiver trips, bunch. Then you got in the gun sets, they got gun tight, flanker close, spread, spread flex, double flex, flip trips, trips, trips have back weak, and then they got a five wide set. Now, there are two formations in this playbook that has a lot of their base stuff. And this is what I'm going to do most of my play calling from. We're going to start with gun spread. This formation has 24 plays in it. And it's a lot of their base stuff. Split in drag. We can go look through these pretty quickly. PA read flows, an awesome PA read play. But they got switch, willy smash. This is your prototypical run and shoot. When you're thinking run and shoot, think of you know, a switch concept on one side with a high-low on the other. A high-low is like a smash. That's prototypical smash on the right right there. Curl flat, that's another smash type of high-low concept as well. But when you see a play like that, think run and shoot. Also, you'll notice the halfback is blocking for a lot of these. Willy smash, switch. You go back here, uh, 416 flat, that's a double high-low there. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, flood looks pretty cool. A uh, post drag. Again, the halfback is blocking. 
drive. Look, you got six man protection. Inside hook. Again, your halfback is blocking. Slot wheels. That's a double switch there. Let's go. Wheelie curl. Again, here's the other one. You got a switch on one side with a high low on the other. You got a middle screen, which is pretty nice. And again, those are 24 plays right there. A lot of their base stuff is right here. And their other set of base in, uh, plays is from their trips look. Their most popular trips look is trips halfback week. Again, I think there are 24 plays in this formation. You got levels. Again, six-man protection. Slide. That is a true run-and-shoot concept right there. I love that play. Again, six-man protection. PA inside, of course, that's play action. Then you got curl flat. Again, six-man protection. Gambler, six-man protection. Slot cross, that's technically six with a delayed route. Cool, they got a halfback direct out of that. That's pretty nice. That's going to be handy. QB wrap, I love that concept. Uh, let's see, inside switch, they got a screen play. They got a shallow cross. Memphis is pretty good. Bubble screen is nasty. You're going to see me run that a couple times today, hopefully, if I don't forget. Slants, twins out. And again, look at all three of those plays. You have six-man protection. That is typical run-and-shoot stuff. Now, if you watch Hawaii today, of course, their Hawaii coach left to become the Washington State coach. I don't know what Hawaii is going to run this year. But if you watch Washington State this year, or if you go on YouTube and watch Hawaii from last year, you'll see a lot more different things that the halfback will do. But in the typical, natural, pure run-and-shoot way of doing things, you're always going to see that six-man protection. At least majority of the time. Again, we got drives, slot corners, flood. Look at all that. Six-man protection. Corners, wide receiver drag. Again, six-man protection. Just a lot of cool stuff in here. So there's at least 24 plays here and 24 plays from gun spread. So I want to call pretty much the entire game from those two sets alone. Again, there's a lot of other plays from these other four wide sets, but... I just wanted to get a full feel of the pure run and shoot in its base form, which is from this formation and from this formation. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, let's go to the depth charts. You see kind of what we're dealing with. We got one good quarterback. He's got 84 overall. Now we need to look at his other stats or his other ratings. He's got an 86 power and 85 accuracy. Pretty good accuracy, but we'll probably see a couple wild throws here and there, hopefully. If he's pinpointing every single thing, then I may need to lower this even more. But this goes to show you what would happen if I kept injuries on. If he got hurt, then it would have been a real struggle after that, and I just didn't want to see the results skewed. Halfback, here's another reason why I picked Baylor. They got a humongous halfback, Paul Bosley. In the normal run and shoot, they like to have big old boys at halfback who could run the ball and protect and block for you. And this guy is that and then some. So it's going to be cool to see him do some stuff today. We'll see. Fullback, we're not going to see a hardly any of him today. They got a decent little receiving core. They got enough bodies here. They got a couple guys in the 80s and some of the 70s. So there's enough there to run the offense. The tight end, there's not enough there. And besides, we're not going to see any of these guys on the field today. But you look at their offensive line, it is nothing special. A bunch of guys in the 60s and 70s. So this is going to be our bugaboo today. Let's say they got a 72 guy there. Let's move him over. Let's do that. We'll get two guys at 72 at the, on the ends. So not a whole lot on the offensive line. Okay, we're going to run a 4-3 defense. 76. Let's see. Let's put this guy over here. Get our top two defensive ends. Uh, starting. Linebacker, 72, 70, 76. Not much there. Corners, we got one decent corner. He's an impact player. And nothing behind him. I mean, nothing at all. So we may be doing a lot of 4-3 today. Barely some nickel. I mean, maybe some nickel. Nothing at free safety. Nothing at strong safety. So our, our defense is bad. That's bad. So come on, Florida. You got to play well today. All right, we got a bad kicker, and we got, like, arguably the best punter in the game, I'm, I'm assuming, at 97 overall. So I'm going to leave all that as is. So let's look at Florida's uh, team real quick. 93 overall, Chris Leak. He can't run the ball, but he can sure sling it around. Of course, his backup is young Tim Tebow, the freshman. Halfback, they got some talent there. Let's see, you know, they run the spread option offense. It's the Urban Meyer way, so they're going to do a lot of four and five wide stuff. 
As you can see here, they got a lot of talent at receiver. Pretty good talent at tight end. I'm sure you'll see a couple 11 personnel sets every now and then. You look at their offensive line, not bad. Everybody in the 80s. But here's probably where their bread is buttered is on their defense. 86 and 88 on the ends. 93 at one defensive tackle. 80, 94, 91. So their linebacker unit is really good. Brandon Siler, I remember him playing. Corners, 88, 85, 82. 86 at free safety, 82 at strong safety. A really good kicker, a really good punter. And as you can tell, their special teams is really good. So, we should get blown out today, or at least lose by a couple touchdowns if I play really well. I think that's it. Let's get this show on the road. Okay. I like the all blue uniforms. They look pretty good. Good stop there. Going five wide. I can't go dime. I just don't have the corners to make it work. So we'll just do quarters for now. Uh, one thing I need to do. Uh, do I have it on? I should have it on. Let's go to gameplay. I should have. Yeah, home field advantage is on. All right, just making sure. Good throw there. Percy Harvin. I think he's a freshman, if I'm not mistaken. We can check it here. He used to be number one. I think after his sophomore year, he changed it to number one or maybe after his freshman year. They have him as the top. As the, yeah, he's a true freshman. But now that 96 speed, man, that kid was an awesome ball player back in the day. But his freshman year, he was indeed number three. Or number eight, sorry. Uh, all right, we're going to probably be in quarters a lot today. I may uh, throw in a little man just to see how they react to it. It's not a very good throw there. One thing we got to talk about, the reason I'm pausing this, another reason why you don't see the opposing team throw too deep on me a whole lot is because I'm in cores. It makes sense. I got four guys sitting back there waiting on a deep ball. But if I go band cover one, they'll go deep a little bit more. So uh, we'll fool with some of that today. Let's just uh, we'll see about that. Let's do a crash two and see how they react to it. I like what I'm seeing so far. They're doing a lot of five wide. They've done a ton of that. When Urban Meyer was there, I mean, he was doing a lot of that at Ohio State as well. Oh, get him. All right, third and three. Uh, they're going too wide. Uh, let's do Let's do a cover one. We're going to flip that. Going with the ace bunch. Going with the toss. And a stop, so we're going to punt. Going to reserve judgment for now. Toss play is not a very good play in this game. It's still a bit of a struggle. you got to have perfect blocking to make it work. So I'm not going to... I don't have an opinion on that one yet. Uh, let's just fair catch that. All right, we're on the right hash. Let's go to our two base formations. Let's just go here and let's do... Let's see. Let's do Willie Curl. We're going zone dime. Now, one thing I can do is I can set up audibles. The problem is they're not going to work because we're playing on the road. So I'm not going to waste my time on that. It's not going to make a difference. Nobody can hear it. I got hit, I think, as soon as I threw it. I screwed it up. Like, yeah. That's just good defense on their part. Second and 10. Let's just stay in this formation for a while. Let's do... Let's just look here. Let's do post drag. We're going man. Nickel. This will probably go to somebody on the right. They're bringing both safeties. Uh, just out of bounds. Not enough. Okay. Oh, did you notice, you go back and look at this, the accuracy wasn't all that great, and I had plenty of time to throw. I had no body hitting me when I threw it, so the protection was perfect. 
But the accuracy was just a little off, which I'm okay with for now. Now, if that happens every play, then we may have an issue. But, okay, let's just stay in this formation. Let's go to probably my favorite new concept in 07. I really like it. This is split in drag. The rat spacing is incredible. Now, they're going zone here. Let's see if we can... Comes out defensively with six defensive. Can't get him off sides. I threw oh, that's an interception. Threw that off my back foot. Don't ever do that. I kept the joystick going. I was fixing to get hit. Don't ever throw off your back foot. <laughs> Alright, that's a punt basically. So we'll get back on defense. They're going four wide. Gosh, I guess we gotta go nickel. Again, I'll, I'll sneak in a few man Comes out in the shotgun. plays here. But, he back to pass. ooh, he that barely got a yard out of that. So what happens if I go with I love how that going five wide? I just don't have the body to do it. Let's do, let's do a crash three, see how he reacts to it. They got five yards out of that. Four. Let's see. Uh, we'll probably stick with another cover three. Let's go with the base. I'll control a defensive lineman. Didn't get it, but I can see him going for it. Or will they kick a field goal? Let's see. They're going to punt. Why are they punting? I honestly don't know what to call here. This is, I guess, middle fan? Safe return? That's weird. Why are they punting from the 31? Please don't fake it. Watch him fake it. <laughs> Nope. Okay. I mean, they were better off just kicking a field goal. That was the case. Okay. We're on the left hash. We're going to go to our other base formation. Let's do that bubble screen I was talking about. This is good against Manners. Oh, we're in the middle of the field. I forgot. All right. No big deal. This actually works better on the left hash. but That's good defense right there. Sitting right there on it. Next time I'm on the left hash, I'll try to call that. Let's just stay in this formation. Twins out. Let's see. Let's try flood. So it's second and We're going man. Ball on the 18 -yard line. I want to see if... Baylor lines up in a shotgun All, right. All right. Smart routes work against... Uh... Oh, intercepted. Nope. Bad throw. Gosh, that was a bad throw. Bad accuracy. What I was fixing to say was hot, the smart rats where you can move a rat up to the first down marker. It works pretty well against a uh, a stadium where it's really loud and stuff. So home field advantage doesn't affect. That's a terrible throw. Gosh, that's bad. Uh, it doesn't affect the smart rats. So that's interesting. Let's stay here. Is there a... Let's do drive. Third down and 12 to We're go. going zone. Let's go here. He, looks, he, fly. he caught it, but the throw was terrible. That accuracy was bad. Look at that. He had to go back. I was fixing to get sacked. Well, we got the first, though, so. They convert on third and long, guys. Somehow. Okay, that actually didn't look very good there, though. How about the timing on that route, Okay, let's pick another play. Let's stake in this formation. Let's go with angle post. I'm just going to shuffle through all these plays in the two formations. We're going man. The bear come out in the shotgun. Drops back on first day. He lets it go. Incomplete. That's a terrible throw. And, I, I mean, let's, let's talk about this. In-game strategy. Let's go to quarterback. Now, my quarterback originally has 84 accuracy, or technically, I guess it was 85. It should be better than, I mean, he should be making a little bit better throws by now, but if you've noticed, every throw we've made so far has been way off. Like, that's a big drop-off right there. 84 should be a good, solid accuracy rating. And for whatever reason, he's struggling with it. Uh, let's go with, 
QB wrap. Let's let's run the ball. We're going nickel. I was hoping they'd go dime. But let's go here. Just nothing there. I was trying to go to the left, but just got destroyed. I'm on the left hash. What can I call? We can try Memphis. We're going zone. I mean, just nothing right there. So, just, I mean, I thought I got it off before he threw it. Guess not. Okay, so the defense is doing their part, so I'm actually not too worried about that. The only thing I've seen that's kind of iffy is QB accuracy on my end is really bad. <laughs> so, we're going to throw some short stuff. They get this one off and, and he's got all day to run here. Let's see what he does with it. Baker fields it at the eight. Ah, that's a good stop. Okay. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced. A lot of passing in this game so far. Let's stay here. Let's do a zone blitz. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. The offense will take over. Doing that. Okay. The Gators set up in the gun. Sack, I came through on that one. Uh, let's do quarters. Out of nickel since we're going four wide. I'm assuming they're going to throw. They're going to run the ball. Uh oh, get it. Get it. Right, they got some of their yards back. Third and nine. Let's do a basic cover three. I'll control a defensive lineman. And see how Chris Lee handles it. There's a shift by the linebacker. Get through. So pass blocking. We can look at this. The protection looks good from right here. But he's taking his time, and I guess nobody got open. So, I mean, honestly, he had plenty of time to do something, and he didn't do it. And he's throwing it, and... Okay. Okay. Um, let's go. Double cross. Here comes the punter, looking to boot this one away. Ziegler is back awaiting the punt. Wilbur punts it, and this one is a skyrocket. Get a block right there. Good play there. All right. We're back on the left hash again. I want to go back. Let's just stick with Trips halfback week again. Let's go back to this bubble screen. We're going man this time. Let's see what happens. We're going dime. I'd, I'd love to audible to a run play, but it wouldn't work. Ah, that's good defense. They came right around. So I've been able to make it work sometimes off that play. Uh, even against man, it helps. The reason why, if they probably would have went nickel, if they would have had a linebacker trying to cover him, he would have had a whole lot more space. But this corner played it perfectly. He went right underneath it, and that guy did too. So that's just great defense. All right, we got to get some yards, anything. Uh, we can go back here. Let's see what they got. Let's do slide. We'll flip it. Oh, I forgot they're going. All right, they're going man. It ain't going to make a difference. I forgot I was on the right hash. Let's see. Bell has four receivers lined up here. Back to pass. Bell lets it fly. And he caught it, but if you notice, to the that ball should have went right here. It should have went on the the numbers, but it didn't. He had to go over here. The great play by the safety. I mean, we caught the ball, don't get me wrong, but I thought I had plenty of time over there to give it to him. So, okay. Uh, Sure All right, let's just stay here. Like well, let's do curl flat. They're going here. man, and they're bringing everybody, so we're going to have to get this off quick. Intercept it. Ooh, no. It's a good hit. Actually, pretty good. Let's see what the accuracy is here. Actually, it was pretty good. I didn't see this guy. That should have been picked off or... Whatever. It's a good play on their part, though. 
All right, let's stay here and let's try Gambler. We're going man. I'd love to go to Ziegler on the left. Going with the shotgun here. The bell drops back. Look, the bell guns it. The accuracy wasn't all that great here. He had to come back for it. See, like, see him right there? He had to come back right here. He had to step back to even get it. The accuracy isn't very good. I mean, I don't know if you guys are seeing the same thing, but every throw I'm making, it's kind of off, except for that curl route from earlier. The quarterback threw a pretty ball there. We got the touchdown, though. But don't forget about the catch. The receiver made one heck of a grab, too. Yeah, I mean, that was a terrible throw. I mean, he had to come back for it. So, you can't, you would think, we can look at this, and forgive me for going through all this, but it's it's worth it. You would think going from just 50 to 35 wouldn't be that big of a drop-off, but it, it's feeling like it is. I mean, everything seems off. And he's got an 84 accuracy rating. If it was 74, I get it. But 84, that shouldn't be... He shouldn't have too hard of a time making those type of throws, especially if he has a clean pocket and he's not getting hit. So, okay. Uh, another problem... Oops. Uh, another issue... It's not an issue, but we'll talk about this. 06 is known. A lot of people have complaints about the deep ball being too easy to complete in 06. 07, honestly, I think it's easier. Every deep ball I'm throwing, I mean, the the defense isn't doing the knockdowns like it used to. And I don't know. I'm just completing them even more in 07. So I think it's funny and ironic how everybody's upset with 06 on the deep balls. He had an 07. It's just as bad, if not worse. But whatever, whatever. All right. Let's get on defense. Right now, Florida, they need to get with it on deep, on offense. I'm, apparently, what I adjusted there did not help whatsoever. Now they're throwing the ball a lot. I get it. But still. So, like, if we go with a 4-2 or, I mean, 4-3 cover 2 man, they should be able to get something going on offense. The D-line shifts over. Was the protection bad? He just came right on through, didn't he? So we may have to bump up pass blocking for the CPU. He's getting hit quite a bit. You can credit that incompletion. Okay. Uh, they're going five wide. We got to go nickel here. Let's just go quarters. He didn't throw a good pass at all. He was under pressure. Unbelievable pressure. Three and three and four. It's a bad throw, just threw it out of bounds. Had no chance on that one. So third and ten. We'll go with a basic cover three and see if he can attack it. So far, he hasn't been able to. That should have been picked. <laughs> That's terrible. Come on, Florida. You gotta do something. All right, let's get back on offense. That's exactly why this one didn't get him any points. Take a swig of water. Look at the quarter's not even over with. I feel like we've been playing a lot already. We're throwing the ball a lot, so the clock is gonna stop a ton today. I think we may run the ball this first play. Get a block right there. Oh gosh. We didn't see him coming. That's the downside of that camera. You can't see what's coming. Now, I tell you what, if you want to do some old school, uh, run and shoot, there's a lot of good under center stuff, but I'm not going to do that today. I want to do the more modern run and shoot. So let's go spread, and let's go... Uh, let's try QB ramp again. All right, they're going dime at least. Need to get with it. Ooh, let's see. Just nothing there. Good defense. They had somebody blitzing on that side, so that didn't shock me that they made a stop there. All right, let's go with drive. But going, man, I'd love to hit Geddes on the left, but am I going to have enough time to do so? Nope, intercepted. Nope, I dropped it. Got hit as soon as he tried to catch it. We need the yards, so let's go. Uh, let's go split in drag. We're going, man. They go cover one, I'm going to get us. If not, I may go to pain. Oh, we got him early. <laughs> they jumped. So 
so that's going to help us a little bit. Now it's third and five. Let's go with. Let's pick something different so now. Reserve Meyer. Let's go. If there was something I wanted to call, I'm not seeing it. Middle hook, that wasn't it. Uh, let's just, uh, let's do turn in. We're going zone. I don't know if I'll get the yards out of this. We'll try it, though. Get the first down there. We'll break this play down. There's a hole open over the middle. So he's my center beater. Good play there. Again, a terrible throw. Look at this throw. Almost hit the ground. And did I have a clean pocket? I felt like I did. Did I, did I have my feet set? Yep. And again, terrible throw. The cool, the one positive about all these weird throws is the wide receivers are making some really cool catches. They're having to really adjust to the ball. So it looks there, cool. The defense was in zone cover. All right, that's the end of the, the quarter, finally. Man, this is a long quarter. We'll keep at it. So far, I'm not liking what I'm seeing, though, on a few aspects. But let's keep playing. Let's do Willie Curl. I don't think we've called that yet. They're going man. Please go cover zero. I'd love to hit that wheel. If not, we may go to, like, Shelton or something. Doing that. There we go. That's a good accurate throw. So that, that gives me some hope. That's where it needed to be. My feet were set. Right in the hands. That's good. All right, that's a first down. Let's try. Let's just stay here. We could do halfback zone. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. If they had straight line blocking on this play, I would call it a ton. But they're going 4-3. Of course, I'm calling it on a 4-3. Uh, but they're doing that, so we may get lucky here. Lines up in a shotgun set. Yeah, get some blocking. Not bad, get the first down. Blocking looked pretty good there. So we're on the left hash. Let's go with... Let's go with this wide receiver middle screen. I like it better on the right hash, but the halfback is on my right. It actually works better if he was on the left side. And I didn't even see what they're calling. Are they going man or zone? I think they're going zone. Get some yards out of it. Good play there. Second and six. We'll stay here. They, uh, what haven't we called yet? We can do... Let's do switch. We're going man. This is like an ideal man play. Not all that great against zone. But we'll see what we can make it with it here. Not the best throw. Didn't even get anything out of Vance. Got a yard. So we're on the left hash. What do we need to call? Let's do 416 flat. We're going man nickel. This will go to one of the outside guys. Let's see. Who's on who? Okay. Not, oh, I drop it. Oh, a pretty good accurate throw from what I can tell. I had all day to throw. The timing was spot on, but great defense. He got hit, and he just dropped it. So that's good defense. So we'll kick a field goal. I need to work on my field goal. Thankfully, it's easier in this game than in 06, or field goals are. Hopefully, I can make it. See, I don't think I got a good kicker. The kick is up. And the good kick, though. Good. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Okay. Let's get on defense and please, Florida, do something, anything on offense. I'm begging you. You should be able to run wild on us. I mean, at least throw. I know they like to throw more a little bit, but I think they're a balanced team. But when you got an impact quarterback, I mean, they, they'll have a tendency to want to throw. Let's do a let's do a cover one. Surely they can do something against the other. Let's just do that. I'm okay with that. Baylor brings in their nickel package. Wow, good coach there. Good catch by Rashe Caldwell or Andre Caldwell. There's two Caldwell brothers. I don't know which one that was. They're going four wide. Uh, let's do quarters. You better get to this quarterback. Otherwise, he'll make you pay. 
we're doing that. Uh, we'll just stick here. Half PA inside. That's in. That's touchdown. Oh wow! Oh, he dropped it. Almost a one-handed catch. But he got hit as soon as he caught it. No, that's a couple times that's happened today. I don't. I don't know what to think about that. A lot of drops I'm seeing are when a wide receiver, as soon as he catches it. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I, I'm indifferent on it for now. I don't know. I don't know what to think about that. Either way, that would have been an awesome looking catch if you would have brought it in. Let's do cover two man. Let's see how they react to it. It's second and ten. Ball on the 38 yard line. They shift on their defensive front. Let's just go here. That's Ace Big Bunch. That's a 12 personnel set. Not a whole lot there, so it's third and seven. We're going with five wide. We'll just go nickel. Let's do that crash three and see how he handles it. Let's control this guy. Let's go here. I'm trying to get off the line. Let's see. Nope, ain't be able to get to him. Wow, oh, good play. Good throw. Fumble. I'll be. So, I didn't look at the fumble. Perfect throw. I mean, he got excellent play right there. Yeah, he just had a straight-up fumble. Yeah, just. Uh-oh, this could get ugly. And it's looking that way right now. They really need to hold them here. So they can get I don't know. what You can't. There's no fumble slider in this game. So, And it was a wide receiver who fumbled it. So, you know, so what do you do? All right, let's go back to Tripp's halfback week, and let's pick something here. Let's try a halfback zone from this formation. We got extra bodies on that side to run to, but we may get really destroyed. Oh, that was a glitch. He should have handed off to him, and he didn't. You can see the quarterback there. Oh, he tried to hand it off. That's a glitch. I don't know if that's going to be like that for every time you call that play out of that formation, but either way, that didn't look very good. Uh, let's stay here. Let's pick something we haven't called yet. Let's do... Gambler. Let's do... Inside switch. Uh, let's do shallow cross. I don't know. Second We're going zone. To go. Baylor sets up with four let's probably go to Gaddis or Payne. Got to get him off sides. Ah, oh, interception. Great play. Flag. I think we got him off sides, though. <laughs> I should have threw it deep. I just now realized. We'll talk about this play. Now, first of all, if you get somebody caught off sides and you know that they're going to be off sides, now is your perfect time to throw deep. There's no reason not to. I didn't do that. That was my fault. Now, I saw this guy wide open right here because he's going to run a post. But this guy got in front of it big time. I threw it too late. That was my problem. So that was a great play by the linebacker right there. But thankfully, we caught him off sides. He must have been listening to the All right, so it's second and three. This guy has to learn to watch the now let's do twin outs. They're going man. Everybody and their brothers on the line. The bear. Line up with four wide outs. No. Here. Good throw there. Nice. Great accuracy. That gives me a little bit of hope about the slider. Clean pocket. I didn't have to back up that far. That's still a problem I have. But anyway, the timing was great on the throw after the cut. Right where I needed to be. Good play. So we're on, on the right hash. Let's pick another play. Let's go. Slot cross. I don't know if we call that yet. Curl flats. Let's do slide like it's supposed to. We'll do it on the right hash as is. We're going man. I got a couple options here. Let's see what those safeties do, though. He's going there. I may go to Gaddis. On the corner. Ah, oh, I dropped it. Oh, my gosh. Perfect. They went cover one. That's my cover one beater. Oh, the timing was perfect on it, too. He just dropped it. What's my wide receiver catching slider for the human let's go to ai i have it at 50 so playmaker didn't change it 
Now on CPU, it's 60. Okay. Oh, that would have been an awesome touchdown right there, though. I called. I, I read it perfectly. Just got to bring it in. Uh, let's do a halfback direct. I think it's really cool you got that. Oh, of course, they're bringing everybody. This may not even work. Let's call a timeout. I wasn't expecting to go 4-3 on a four-wide set. So let's pick something else. Uh, let's do levels. This is like old school. I mean, this is like the real deal levels. This is Peyton Manning's favorite concept. Now, they're going man, so I'll probably keep it simple. Go to Ziggler on the left. Terrible throw, but we got a touchdown. So what happened there? Look at this right here. Not in stride. Let's look here. He just completely whiffed on that. Okay. That looked kind of weird, but whatever. That should have been intercepted. That was a terrible throw. He had a, he threw it way behind him. And if you notice here, the wide receiver had to come back for it. If I could put my cursor on him, you go here. Look right here. He had to stop, so just another terrible throw. And he makes his second visit to the end zone. Uh, okay. That, well, that was a great catch by the receiver. He ran a perfect route to get open for his second score of the game. They'll line up for the so, end point here. So, the adjustments I've made so far, I'm not all that pleased with. But we'll keep playing. Something may happen if Florida can really get into it. But it's, I mean, the quarter's barely a halfway over with. I mean, this will be a long video. Hopefully my recorder does its thing <laughs> and records the entire thing. Now, this wasn't a very hard throw or hard kick. Let's do a zone blitz and see how he reacts to it. I hate to see that if it happens again. The Gator set up in the gun. Ah! They'll throw on first down. Brooks, Back shoulder go. throw. Good catch. Good play. That's a tough throw to make for that guy right there. And my safety just stood there, so... Let's go. Uh, let's do a cover two man if I can find it. It's first and ten. Ball on the forty-three yard line. So okay, I'm glad that popped up. You look at the stats here for Chris Leak. We'll go to individual. Eight of 13, 91 yards, sixty-one percent. That's pretty normal. So I'm okay with that. He just hasn't done a whole lot of it yet, but you know they're throwing the ball every play too. So, either way, the numbers as a whole looks good, but I guess you got to keep it in perspective of where we're at in the game and how much they're throwing. They're, I wish they'd run at least a little bit more. They're destined to throw it. At least he caught it. So it's second and five. Now let's throw quarters at him. They line up at the 38. Second down. Let's go here. Uh, let's do that. I didn't get a, a shift off in time. Good throw there. And he got the first down. That's a heck of a throw right there. So Chris Leak as a whole, his numbers are looking okay. They're fine. Other than there's just not a whole lot of yards. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to think about that. All right, let's go to another crash too. I just came through on that. That just the CPU offense should be able to react to that and work off of that, like they do in 06. I could blitz quite a bit in 06, and sometimes they're just going to pick up the blitz. Right now, they're not doing that. Yeah, go back. I don't like the way you're Oh, what a catch! Golly, look at this. Look at this catch. And he caught it. He didn't drop it as soon as he got hit either. That was a good play. Third and two. Uh, let's just do a... Let's do an over front. Let's do this crash gold. From the 25-yard line. Third and a couple. Florida lines 
play action and a sack. They got heavy pressure it's called a timeout. Boy, you better believe it. We got one more left, and I didn't want them to run clock. So let's go. Oh, they're going for it. Why are they going for it? I don't... That's dumb. They're going for it. Can't they kick the field goal? I don't... That's another glitch. That's not a glitch, but it's a graphical glitch. When you see that safety thing go down. He's got all day to throw. That's a touchdown. Nope. It's good defense. Hey, it's a knockdown. That's actually the first knockdown I've seen in a long time. The safety, did he knock it down? They try to go for another one-handed catch. I guess they consider that a knockdown. I don't know. Okay, I don't even know where we're at. Uh, let's go. Let's do P.A. Reed flow. We're on the right hash. They're going zone. We're going to throw this. Oh, that's intercepted. That's a pick six. That's my fault. That's a good play. My fault, my fault. He stood right there sitting waiting on it. I have no issues with that whatsoever. That was just my fault and the corner done what he was supposed to. We can go back and look at this. Let's see. Go here. And he was just sitting right underneath. If I was on right on the right hash, he probably could have done something there, but the guy just got right in front of it. It's a good play. Okay. I love the look of that just so you can see the stadium and whatnot. And that's a flag. He ran to the kicker. I think that happens a little too much. It shouldn't happen that often. But but it, you can't prevent it from happening, running into the kicker. So when it happens, you kind of have to call it as a penalty, right? I mean, either way. Okay. Let's try not to goof up this time. He hits a booming kick. Shelton fields it in the end zone. Not a whole lot fair. Nice right, if we want to try to score, we need to get down the field a little bit. So let's go here. We could try Willie Smash. They're going man, and they're blitzing both inside guys. So I hope I can get this off. Baylor comes out of the shotgun. Looking to pass. Looks down the middle. Intercepted, just a bad throw. Did I throw off my back foot? Nope, perfect. I mean, just a, he overthrew it. And what's funny is all these interceptions, and I think it's interesting that we're seeing so many interceptions. Now, a lot of it's because it's my fault, because that play, that wasn't my fault. I mean, the quarterback just made a terrible throw. The accuracy has just been off for him today. But what's funny is when you go to the AI right here, and you go to the CPU defense, Interceptions are at zero, yet anytime there's an opportunity, they're still making them. So I don't know if that means that slider's worthless or what. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right. I want to see Florida make a comeback here and drive and score before halftime. Will they do it, though? Let's see. I hope they do, to be honest. I want to see them have a clean drive. That should have been a bad loss, but he broke a tackle. Uh, let's do a zone blitz. They're doing strong close. That's a new formation in this game. And he somehow caught that. <laughs> First and ten. Uh, let's go here, quarters. All right, Florida, get down there and score a touchdown. You're supposed to in this situation. We still have the momentum. I'm not paying a whole lot of attention to momentum. I don't know if that – I mean, you got to play your game regardless of the momentum. That's a good throw there. See, Chris Leak is playing good. I like the way the quarterback is doing his thing. I think that's – and he's like the, one of the best quarterbacks in this game. So I'm okay with the QB accuracy for CPU. I think it looks fine. The receivers are catching the ball. I'm okay with that. For whatever reason, they just struggle to score. They should get a touchdown on this drive. 
good catch there. Did he get the first? First of ten. And they're going no huddle. The Gator line up with five receivers. Looking fires to the end zone. Almost intercepted. Second and ten. Uh, let's go nickel and let's do a uh, let's do a crash too. They should score on this play because as long as they can pick up their protection, they should not have any problem scoring here. Florida in a four wide And they went with a QB ramp. That made a lot of sense. Or a, maybe a zone read. And they'll go with a no huddle. Florida comes out the Now please don't screw this up, Florida. At least get some points out of this. Wow, what a touchdown. Golly. So they're they're making some crazy catches. Look at this catch. Wow, what a catch. That's pretty cool. Now, again, the CPU wide receiver catching rating or slider is at 60%. They're making a lot of good catches. And if you go off of that, well, the quarter, the half's about over with. So let's get through the quarter. Wow, this is going to be a long video. I need to run the ball a little bit just to keep get it, keep it going a little bit. Neither team is running whatsoever. I need to do some run to my shoot. Let's put it that way. Don't run it to the kicker. We'll check out the halftime stats after this. That's the middle of the field. I'm going to let that one go. Uh, let's stay here and let's run. I'm going to try a counter from a spread and see what they do with it. Yeah, they're going 4-3. Of course they are. Of course they are. We'll go left. Get some protection. That's a good little run to end the half. He picked up big yardage on that run. Oh, this is great blocking up front. Nice there we go. Okay. Let's block. look at some stats real quick, and we'll get right to the third quarter. Turnovers are the reason why I'm only up three, to be honest. But let's go to stats and scores. The biggest thing is they're not running the ball at all. I, I, I need to go back and look and see what their coaching uh, tendencies are. But either way, they're throwing the ball really well, and they should. They're supposed to. they got a really good offense, and at least their passing game. Should be good. So I like what to say. The only downside is 150 yards is not a whole lot for the amount of times they're throwing it. I mean, he's going to throw it 45 times a game today, and he may have 30, 300 yards. He's been sacked four times already, so I may need to increase pass blocking on the CPU side of things. Uh, one for seven on third down is terrible. Turnovers, a lot of these have been my fault. Uh... Anything else that stands out? Not a whole lot. The Let's go to individual stats real quick. If you go to receiving, how many drops do they have? The CPU only has one drop. We have four. Uh, another issue I'm kind of seeing is I'm actually okay with this 11 to 23. The biggest problem is his accuracy has been way off. A lot of these have been because the throws have been so bad. So I don't know what to think about that. Maybe I lowered that too much. I don't know. 84 accuracy should be good enough to make some decent throws with a clean pocket. Uh, so I don't know. I had something I have to think about. All right. Let's get right into it. We're going to get the ball back. We'll probably go to... We could try another formation. We don't have to do those. just those two formations. But Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Good little run there. So what we can do, we can stay like with a spread. I think they got a couple new things in here. Let me see. Cross, uh, switch. It's not as varied as I expected. Let's look at this trips here. I'm not seeing a whole lot, so let's just go back to stuff I'm familiar with for now. Let's do wide receiver curls. We haven't called that yet. We're going zone. Receivers lined up here. Bell to the air on first down. 
Good throw there. Accuracy was good. Second and one. Let's stay here. Let's do direct. Surely he can get a first down here. They're blitzing both inside guys. Now, I would love to audible to something else, but. Flag. Got him again. Got him to jump. First down. Let's stay here. Let's do a toss play. Now, it's speed option. Sometimes it's hard to do it like this, but we'll try. Hopefully, I won't get destroyed here on the right. And a terrible pitch. Gee whiz, that was bad. Gosh, that was awful. You go back and look at this. Look at this pitch. I mean, I didn't even get hit, and the pitch was bad. So, was that cute? Okay, we got to talk about this. I'm starting to believe that QB accuracy affects your pitch. Let's think about that for a minute. He didn't even get hit. And why was the pitch so bad? I mean, look at that. That's terrible. It should not be that bad. Hmm, something to think about. Okay, we're on the right hash. Let's try to make up for it somehow. Let's do post drag. They're going zone. This isn't the best zone play in the world. It's excellent against man. Going here. Let's go over the top and see what happens. Okay, uh, third and forever. Let's go with... Let's do... Uh, where's it at? I don't think it's going to work. Let's let's just do split in drag if I could find it. There we go. We're going man. Am I going to get there in time? Let's try... Or, Let's try a smart route. The bear. Come out the shotgun. Wow, see how deep that flag is? Bell, back to pass. He looks. He's going left. Uh, uh. Incomplete pass. I think I was fixing to get hit. I failed it. Right tackle got destroyed. Yeah, I had to get it off. Now, did they go cover zero? I didn't even pay attention. I was just looking at that flag route. They went cover zero. Dang it, I could have went to the go route. That's okay. All right, we'll punt it. The next exhibition game we'll do, we'll go with a t against a team that runs the ball a lot. If that makes sense. Florida's throwing way too much. I was expecting them to at least run some. I thought they were a fairly balanced team. I mean, they're a spread option team. I know Chris Lee can't run option because he doesn't have the legs. But the next team we'll go up against, we're going to go up against one that can run the ball a ton. So that way we can at least see them attempt to run it. And hopefully they'll run wild over us. Ah, ah, dang it. Good run there. That was that's my fault though. I was just out of position. Incredible effort there running the football by this guy. His average is good. Five attempts for 30 yards. That's six yard average. That's good. Uh let's do a cover three. First and ten. They shift on the defensive line. Going with big, big bunch. The two tight end set. Oh, oh, bad throw. He threw it off his back foot. So that should have happened. So I'm okay with that. And that's a throw he should make every single time. Let's do a zone blitz. It's second and ten. Ball on the forty-one yard line. Let's go. Uh, I'm okay with that. Good run there. Uh oh, he gone. Ooh. Good tackle. Good run. Up. Let's look at this. I, I'm glad I saw this. They're supposed to run. Look at the blocking here. Excellent. I wonder what play they called. Looks like it was halfback zone. Great blocking, though. Look at that. If he probably would have cut up that way, it's... Great play by the defender right there, though, getting the tackle. Good run, though. I'm glad I saw that. They should be doing it like that. All right. Three wide. Let's go to quarters. First and ten. Ball on the 24. The Gator set up in the gun. Come back. I don't like the way that looked. I'd rather you be where you're supposed to be. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see what happens. Halfback draw. Get a few yards. They're running the ball a little bit more now. Interesting. I don't know what... Maybe they decided, hey, let's run the ball some. I don't know. Now let's go back to a crash two. Ball on the 22. 
The Gators line up with see if we can get a blitz on him. They'll probably pick it up. Yeah, good pick up on the blitz. Good play there. I love that. I love that they do that. Awesome play. All right, their offense is moving a little bit. They need to score a touchdown here. So let's go with a cover one. Chris Leak's playing great. It's not his fault. There's barely struggling to score. Get up the first down there. Okay. Uh, they're going four wide. Let's do a nickel one half. Let's bring the nickel on a blitz. See, that's another, gra it's just a graphical glitch that he does that, but I think it's weird out. Another halfback draw. Good stomp there. Halfback draws it from the gun. They still don't work all that well. It's just too slow. You got to have perfect blocking to make them work. All right, let's go back to quarters. It's second down and 11 to go. He back. I've seen a whole lot there. And they make the stop. Lost a yard, that from what I can tell. Nowhere. So, okay, I'm going to... We're going to go with a cover two man. Surely, Chris Lee could find a man beater for a touchdown. We'll see if he can do that, though. Nothing. So I guess they're going to kick a field goal. They better kick a field goal. They've had too many opportunities to kick field goals, and they chose not to. All right. That's another thing that kind of concerned me. They've had a couple chances for field goals, and they decided to go for it or punt. Makes no sense. But this one, it's, you know, they should make this. Okay. So the game is tied. They moved the ball well up until they got to the end zone. All right, so let's get on offense and try to get something going. And he got all of this one. That's a good kick. They're just going to let that one go. Middle of the field. Let's do a dive. Let's go under center a little bit. We're going nickel. I'll probably go left. I'll probably get stopped here. Eh, yeah, that's just good defense. Oh, no, he's still going. <laughs> I thought he got tackled. The running back gets two. Uh, we're on the left hash. Let's go back to trips. Halfback weak. Let's go. Where's it at? Uh, let's do inside switch. They line up going zone. This is a either hash play. You can do it off either one. Uh, it actually works a little bit better if it's on the right hash as he is, but that's okay. Get a few yards, not a whole lot. And they were stopped for a minimal gain on the play. Uh, we can stay here and attempt. They were well, let's do Memphis. They line up we're going six. man. Down at six yards to go. I'd love to go to like Payne. But, or I'll probably go to Ziegler here. Look at the throw. Looks. He lets it go. Oh, he didn't get down, I don't think. Oh, he caught it first down. Let's look at this. Now you can now one thing you can do in this game is you can challenge a play if you wanted to. Uh, so you got to be careful when you're looking at instant replays, especially for me since I'm recording these games. I like to go to instant replay a lot and break down certain plays. So I got to watch when I do that if I feel like I need to challenge a play because if you do instant replay, then you can't challenge it. But I was just curious. Oh my. Uh, okay, I guess they that's considered a, a challenge. I don't know. So the CPU should challenge them as well when they feel like they can. Now let's go back to that bubble screen. We're going zone. Let's see if I can get something going. Oh, they're going to challenge the catch. I don't think he was down. I think he was out. Yeah, they're going to call it out. Yeah, he was out. <laughs> he had the toe. Play stands. Oh, okay. Find my mate. Let's go offense. Let's go offensive line. Play stands. All right. We're going zone. Let's see if I can pull this off of the screen. Nope. Great defense. 
I've been able to make that work a ton in practice, though. Okay, let's just stay here and let's drive. Let's do slot quarters. We haven't called that yet. We're going zone. This will probably either go to Shelton or Geddes. Nope, they're going man. First down, okay. I thought they went zone, but they went man. Let's stick with that. Let's try. Let's do QB wrap. And every time I go run, they go with a 4 3. So this probably isn't going to work. We'll, we'll let it go, though. Just. What do you do? Okay, second and 12. Let's try slot cross. We're going zone. I'd love to go to Shelton over the top, but that may be hard. The Bear with more receivers. Bell, back to pass. Ooh, first down. We'll take it. And he's tackled at the 36. Okay. Defense was coming with heat on that play. Uh, we can curl flat. Let's do slide again. That's a true run and shoot. We're going man. Everybody's an option basically except for Payne. Now he's coming down. So they're going to cover one at least. So I'm going to try to hit Gaddis. Oh my gosh, what a throw. Ah, all right. That gives me hope about that slider. Perfect timing here. The flag routes work so much better in this game than they do in 06. The timing, look at that. I actually threw it before he made this cut. But look at this throw. Oh my gosh, right where it needed to be and I didn't cut up enough. Oh, he jumped, that's why. Awesome throw, incredible. So where are we at? We are on the six. What would happen if I went halfback zone? Are they gonna go goal line? Nope, they're going zone nickel. I don't know if we can pull this off. We'll try. Another glitch. That's the same one. So this play doesn't work. This happened twice. Halfback zone out of this play is a glitch. He never hands it off to him, and he's supposed to, as you can see right here. And it's just a glitch, That's which is a shame. We got yards out of it somehow, though. Okay, what happens if... Let's go. Let's go goal line. Let's try. Let's do toss. Oh, it's into the quarter. Okay. It's second down. All right. Tied up. I mean, the game's close, but in a weird way, I guess. Let's go goal line. Let's do toss. We're going man. I may go. Oh, you, it can only go left. I can't switch it to the right. Oh, good block right there. Six points. Good deal. Toss play work. Good block there on the edge. Right there. Okay, let's get on offense. Or, sorry, we'll get on defense and... Hopefully, Florida can do something. I don't know. They haven't been able to yet. And he converts the extra point. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac. That was a long drive. Took up almost half the quarter. Baylor gets set to kick this one away. Got a lefty kicker. Is he going to return it? No, he's not. Good job on their last drive. Getting three. Let's do another zone blitz. This time, I will not blitz. I'm going to be one of these guys and see what he does. Play action. Good play there. Almost got the first. Oh, he did get the first. Let's do quarters. Do this. We're going strong close. They got a wide receiver end around in this formation. I think it's pretty good. If you got blocking. Get four yards out of that. Here, let's do another quarters. Next play, we may go man. We're going gun spread. No, it looks like it's spread flex. No, that is gun spread. Going with a QB draw. That made a lot of sense. All right, third and nine. Let's go with a basic cover three. 
Let's see what he does with it. It's third and nine. They line up in the shotgun. He looks Oh, good throw. First down. Good play. Do you know who? Percy Harvin. That looks like a generous spot to me. Okay, uh, let's go with a cover two man. See how they respond to Vance. Florida lines up with three receivers. That, they got that gun F trips formation. I love that play. It's got the offset fullback. A lot of cool stuff you can do in the run game of Theat. Good throw there. First down. They're moving the ball very well on this drive, guys. Yep, the Let's do another zone blitz. Ball, but the problem is they They're moving the ball well. They just can't the score. Seems to be building a little bit more momentum on every play. Let's control Lyman this time. Wow, big play right there. Oh, so close to breaking. So the quarterback CPU, they're doing a good job. He's doing his part. CJ Leak, he's not the reason why they're struggling today for sure. He's making some really good throws. His receivers are catching about everything. Well, let's go back to quarters. The pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone when performance matters most. They're in the red zone again, but this time... Here's where they struggle. It's when they get in the red zone. He guns it to the left. Oh, touchdown. That's a step. They're... I spoke too soon. They finally scored an offensive touchdown. That's a good play. I didn't see him coming on that side. And I really blew that one there. Good play, though. They finally scored. That makes me feel good that that happened. Okay. Still got a lot of time left in the quarter. Oh, I didn't dive. I jumped instead. I think he hit square to dive for the kick to try to block it. I need to practice on that, but you can block kicks in this game. It's a whole lot easier in this game than in 06. In 06, it's basically impossible. I hate to use that word, but it's it's tough. That is a touchback. Right, we're in the middle of the field. Well, let's see. They got spread. Let's see what they got in spread flex. They don't have as many plays in this formation. It's like the majority of the plays in this formation are from 06. All right, they're going man nickel. I'm going to do a basic run and see what they do. Looks like they're going to blitz hard. Probably ain't going to get anything out of this. Told you. Yeah, I figure I wouldn't get anything out of that. Uh, let's let's go flip trips. Flip trips is sort of like gun bunch from 06, but it's a little more spread out. So here, and they're bringing everybody. Here you could do deep cross up. They're going zone, but we'll go to this guy. He's wide open. It's complete. Tackle made at the 29 yard line. Uh, third and one. For maybe seven yards. Let's see what they got here on basic trips. They got a QB slot option. That looks pretty good. I may actually call some of that because I like the blocking. Uh, let's go pick something simple. Let's just do gambler. There's good one man. I'm going to try to hit Ziegler on the left. I may try to get him off sides. They line up with tricks to the right. Bell drops back to pass. Good play there. First down. So what we can do, we can talk about this QB slot option. Yeah, they got better run plays in this formation. QB slot option, one cool thing is you really don't need a speedy quarterback to make it work. Now they're going man nickel. If they're doing that, I'll probably hand this off. Look at that blocking. Yeah, that's what I want to see. So what you can do, let's break this play down. Now, you have the option of keeping it. Or, I mean, give it to your halfback or keeping it. But what you can do in this situation, if I kept it, as long as you and the receiver are going in the same motion, going in the same direction, you can treat it as a toss play like I do in 06 with all my basic option plays, a normal toss. You do not have to have a speedy quarterback. Now, it's nice to have one. But trust me, I'll try to do that maybe in another video, another exhibition game. I'll run some more of that stuff. But you do not need a speedy quarterback to make that work if you toss it to this guy. Mosley. We can't really, it's kind of hard to show it with this one. I have to be in the right, I mean, because if you go back and look at this play, it was obvious I needed to hand it off to the halfback. 
We had all that grass on the left. So we had good blocking. Just a great play right there. Okay, let's think of this formation. Let's see what else they have. My halfback's about gassed. Uh, let's go... This cross post is, looks a little bit different. Slot screen. Let's do this trips attack. We're going man. I may go to that big flag right on the right. I love these flag routes. Let's see what they do with the safeties. If not, I'll probably go to Gaddis. We're going one high. Oh, and it's intercepted. Oh, he somehow caught that. Okay. I don't know if that was supposed to happen, but it didn't. But we'll, we'll take it. Somehow he caught that. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's do wide receiver middle screen. We're going zone. Good. I'm glad they're going zone. I hope I can pull this off. This play is great against zone if they blitz really hard. It makes it even easier. Nope. That's a perfect defense against it. Now, I wonder if my halfback was open. I, I mean, he could have done something, I guess. Well, okay, let's just stay here. And what else do they have? Pretty normal stuff. Corners. Okay, let's just go back here. Let's go back to slide. I want to keep running some run and shoot. We're going zone. There's a little triangle read on the right, so this will probably go the Payne or Teasley. We'll just go here. Not a whole lot there. Third and ten, so we're going to have to do something here. Let's go. Let's go to probably my favorite concept, split and drag. We're going man. Look at the spacing on those routes. Incredible. Please go cover one or zero. I want to hit the flag. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh, man. It wasn't the best throw. So it's fourth and ten. We will kick a field goal. I wonder how... Did I throw it late? We need to look at this. Let's go here. Let's go here. Did I throw it late? It seems like he gets better separation when I throw it a little before he makes his cut. I threw it as soon as he made the cut. But I also probably got hit because you can see the ball comes out a little wobbly. No, actually, it's a decent spiral. Just want a very good throw. Okay, let's kick a field goal. Let's go here. Good kick. Good deal. So much easier in this game. Okay, we got the lead. Now, I want to see Florida use these last two minutes, go on the drive, score, and beat me. That's what they should do. That's awesome. I got a lefty kicker. Is he going to return it? He's going to return it. Nothing there. All right, let's see what happens. Let's see if Florida can do their thing. Let's go here. Let's go here. We'll go here. Going to P.E. Reed. Oh, he's wide open over there. Pick up the first down. That was my fault. I should have stayed over there. The defense was in zone coverage. The offense did a good job of protecting the quarterback. And Let's go here. Let's do a crash, too, and see what they do. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 30. The Gator come out in the shotgun. Oh, a good pickup on the – oh, got sacked, though. That's like the fifth sack today. Guys, when we were at practice this week, you kind of got the feeling that they might run a We're going with the basic cover two, man. Somebody get him. Oh, good hit. Now they're going to do it again. Let's just do quarters. Here today's Coca-Cola players of the game. These kids really stepped it up. Switch. Get him, get him. So what happened here? Did he just drop it? Or did we... That's a deflection. Good. We saw a deflection. Good defense. Yep. Good defense. Fourth and eight. This is play of the game right here. Well, that confidence almost led to a uh, let's do a cover three and see what this they do with it. Close to being on the 32 yard line. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Well, they, of course. What do you expect? Three wide outs here. 
And that was a late hit, a late jump. Oh, just enough, first down. <laughs> okay. Dallas Baker, the touchdown maker. Let's go. Let's do quarters. Yeah, coach, but they're taking it one step at a time, and that's exactly what they need to do to get the ball down the field. Lee lines up in the shotgun. He looks to throw on first down. He passes it. That's a bad play for them. Oh, they're called defense. Oh, a timeout. Okay, let's just stick with quarters again. It's second and 11. Ball on the 39-yard line. Leak comes to the line with three wide. Looks to pass. Gets rid of it quickly. Terrible play. That's just bad. Third and 13. Loss of two on the play. So I'm going to go with a cover three and see what he does with that. Third and 13 coming up. The Gators line up with four wideouts. Good protection. Out of bounds, though. Gosh, just a bad play. Fourth and long. All right, this is play of the game. Let's do quarters and see what he does. So, is somebody challenging it? Oh. They challenged it and they were... Wait a minute. How was that a... That's... No, uh-uh. They challenged the play. I didn't even know they challenged the play until we saw that replay. Now, how in the world is that a touch, a first, or a, a completion? Okay. I guess you got to have partial foot in. That's okay. I thought, did they get one challenge per half? This is a glitch. Look at this play here. The camera messed up on me there. <laughs> Weird, 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 weird stuff. I can't see what's happening. Interception. Game over. He just got in front of it. That's his worst throw of the day by far. He threw it off his back foot. That didn't help. Just got in front of it. So let's go here and let's... Run the ball. They'll call timeouts until I don't know how many they have left. They're doing that. We'll probably just go left. Get about five yards. That's their last timeout. So that's over with. I'm gonna keep running it. The game's over with. But I'm gonna try. Let's see what else we got here. QB choice. Let's do QB choice. From the 49 yard line. We may be able to get something it's going here. The bear set up in the gun. Here's the option. Good block there. First down, game over. Time and time again, you see the team that's winning. We'll keep calling plays, might as well. I mean, unless I do something really stupid here, but I want to keep running the ball. Let's do flip trips and see what we have here. They got wide receiver sweep. That's a pure sweep. That's pure wide receiver play right there. That's not even an option. That's interesting. And let's call that play. Let's go here. Let's run it. That's interesting. It's just a pure sweep. Let's see how quick it is. Good block there. First down. Wild B. That's a good little play right there. I like that. You get it. The, the positive with this play is that you get an extra blocker with your halfback. Look at this block right there. Perfect block by the halfback. That's a good little play right there. I almost prefer having that extra blocker, to be honest, than doing an option. Interesting. All right, I want to try. Let's do this if we can. Can we squeeze it in? Let's see. They're going zone. They're doing that. Three, two, one. Good play there. All right. Upset. We won. Uh, let's talk about some things. And that's the end of the ball game. Kirk, what do you think of this one? Oh, there's no doubt. Get the Gatorator bath. Gatorator. <laughs> the Gatorade bath. Florida came into this Okay. It's going to show some campus challenge stuff. I think it was a good idea to put that turn that on. Might as well. Baylor 
I almost wish I should have done that for 06 after all the years I put into it. Oh, it's the number two greatest game of all time. Okay, uh, let's check out some stats. Okay. Offensively, it's still a struggle for the CPU to do their thing, and it shouldn't be. They only had a... They had less than 300 yards of offense. That shouldn't happen. They should have 400 plus easily. Running the ball, they only had 28 yards, but we need to go back and look at the individual stats. I thought the running back done a good job. The QB, uh, the sacks reflect the rushing stats, so that's a bit skewed, to be honest. Passing the ball, I think they've done fine. Q Chris Lee done okay, 28 to 39. It's actually a really high percentage. Passing yard, 265. That's actually not... I'm okay with that. Here's the problem, though. We didn't get sacked once. I guess I'm just that good in the pocket. I can get it off in time. But either way, we was able to get to him five times. So I probably need to raise pass blocking, CPU pass blocking, by quite a bit. But it also means when I raise that, that's going to make their passing game even better. Third down conversions was pretty bad on their part. Turnovers. Another little issue I have with this game is, if you've noticed, this is what, game number seven of our exhibition series. Every single game has had four plus turnovers. Here we have five. That's a lot of turnovers every single game. I think we've had one game where we only had two, but I think we had like a lot of fumbles, but they were recovered by the same team. Two fumble, I, I don't know. That just seems like a whole lot, and there's no turnover slider to adjust that. Uh... I'm okay with the special team stuff. The penalties, a lot of this was due to offsides. If you remember the previous video, I had everything bumped up to like 60% on the penalties. But I'm okay with that. I, I didn't see anything out of the ordinary here. They won the turn, uh, the time of possession. Let's go to individual stats. Let's look at our stuff first. I'm okay with what I'm seeing here. I thought the Florida defense done their part. Most of these picks were my fault. One of them wasn't. It was just a bad accuracy throw. That's the only thing I did say was a lot of the throws were kind of off for my quarterback, yet his completion percentage was still at 60%, so I don't know what to think about that. Running the ball, we actually ran the ball at a decent average. Uh, how many drops did we end up having? We ended up having six drops altogether. And I'd have to go back and watch the video and see if, if some of these were because they got hit when they tried to catch it. But when you compare that to the other team, they only had two. Six to two. I know they got better receivers. I don't know what to think about that yet. Uh, so let's go look at Florida's stuff here. Passing, again, Chris Leak, his numbers are perfectly, that's excellent. The only thing is, for the amount of times he threw, he threw it 40 times and only got however many yards. Only had uh, 265 yards. Does it show an average in here? It should. Oh, that's a really low average. I don't know if that's because I ran a lot of quarters. He had to throw it short a lot, but still. We're going to fix this. We're going to increase CPU pass protection, pass blocking. Running the ball. Here's the good thing. Their quarterback, Deshaun Wynn, that's an excellent average. Almost six yards, but they just didn't running enough. So again, like I said before, the next exhibition game will be going up against a run-heavy team and see if they run wild on us. So hopefully they do. Because I was expecting Florida to run the ball at least a little bit more, and they didn't. I mean, they threw it way too much. Receiving, again, this I, I thought all this was perfectly fine. I thought the receivers played really well. So the one thing I do want to go back and look and see is you look at their discrepancy. They threw the ball 39 times and only ran it 17 they should be a little bit more balanced than that. Even when Chris Leak was there when they won the national championship, which was this year, by the way, they were a pretty balanced team. And I thought they threw the ball way too much. We threw the ball a whole lot. We're supposed to. We're doing a lot of run and shoot. That's expected. But, okay, hopefully all this, we got some results from it. Uh, so we'll work off of that. So come on back. We will, again, be another cupcake team, take on another powerhouse, and hopefully we'll make some adjustments, and hopefully we'll see an even better game. Now, you got to remember, I have to take into account that I'm still really good at these games, so I should be able to compete. I mean, I should be able at least to keep it somewhat close with these powerhouse schools just because I really know what I'm doing. But again... We should see the opposing team really put a number on me from time to time. And so far, we haven't seen that yet. 
Hopefully we will after some tweaks. So come on back. We'll get to that. I think the next video is going to be our bowl game with Mississippi State. I want to finish up that season. We'll get to the off season, all that good stuff. So that should be exciting. I can't wait for that. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.